On the 4th of December 2023, we infiltrated another UK pig gas chamber, this time in Watton, owned by the leading pork supplier, Cranswick Foods. We successfully placed hidden cameras both inside the chamber and on the kill floor, and this is what the footage showed. The pigs are first forced from the lairage by workers. Some workers hit and frighten the animals to get them to move. These pigs would have spent the entire night before in the holding pens. These are extremely intelligent beings. They could smell the blood and the fear of the pigs before them, so it's no wonder they're apprehensive. Many of the pigs try to outsmart the workers to avoid going any further, but their efforts to escape are futile. Here the worker needlessly sprays the pigs with water to torment them further. They are then herded further down the line by a system of mechanical doors. Just outside the gas chamber, the controls operator is seen slapping the pigs on the back and even on the face to force them further inside. The closer the pigs get to the gas chamber, the more desperate they become as they try to escape. Here a worker dances and has a good time as the pigs are forced into the gas chamber right beside him. To him, it's just another day at work. For the pigs, it's their life. Once they are forced into the cage at ground level, their anxiety heightens. They can probably smell the gas at this stage, or the blood of other pigs who have struggled before them. The pigs are then lowered down into high concentrations of CO2 gas. The pigs begin to panic and struggle. CO2 is a scientifically known aversive gas that causes pain, respiratory distress and terror. The pigs begin flailing around in agony and desperation. Pigs climb over each other trying to escape, while other pigs frantically gasp for oxygen. horrific suffering. These pigs are literally being tortured before they lose consciousness. Desperate pigs let out one last chilling scream for help. And this is what the industry consider humane slaughter. Many pigs are still gasping for air after over a minute in the gas. Pigs are still seen moving after nearly three minutes in the gas. And some continue to fit just moments before being poured out the other side. This pig had a blood nose fighting so hard for their life that they smashed their face on the cage. 
This slaughterhouse kills 4,000 pigs a day exactly like this. And many of these pigs are from RSPCA Assured Farms and will be adorned with the misleading RSPCA logo. On the other side, lifeless pigs are hung up by their ankle to be eviscerated, decapitated. Sick or injured downer pigs are slaughtered whilst in the lairage and their bodies are carted into the kill floor to be dismembered and put into the food supply with the others. Here you can see blood spraying up on the side of the wall from a pig having their throat slit. This pig was unable to walk themselves to their own death. So a worker kills them on the spot by shooting them in the head and stabbing them in the throat. Not even the sick or injured escape the meat industry. Someone will eat this injured pig and know nothing of the horror they endured. Cranswick Foods supplies almost every large supermarket chain in the UK, including Tesco, Asda and Sainsbury's. This slaughterhouse also receives many free-range pigs from their higher welfare arm, Wild Farms. An interesting connection. The free-range RSPCA-assured horror farm featured in my documentary Pignorant was sending many of their pigs direct to the Cranswick Watton site, among others. This is the second pig gas chamber we've exposed in the UK and the second exposed in UK history. This suffering is consistent with our 2021 investigations at Pilgrim's Manchester, which led to it being shut down weeks after release. 90% of all pigs in the UK are killed using CO2 gas chambers and by just four major companies. What you saw is not isolated. All gassing of pigs in every other country is just as abhorrent. Please share the reality of the pork industry and help us fight for the rights of pigs. And please don't support this and live vegan. Watch our film Pignorant for a deeper dive on this topic.